Welcome back to Cafe Bagheri. Now we're in the backyard today making a delicious grilled chicken. This one is a Persian Jujay Kebab. Now in time for the summer grilling season and hopefully the end of quarantine, you need a wonderful go-to recipe for your backyard to share with friends and family. I'm telling you guys, this is it. So simple to make and so delicious. So come right back to me and we're going to make some juje kebab. So before you do anything else, you're gonna make your saffron solution. Never use saffron threads, always grind them, mix them with some hot water, boiling hot water, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and it's going to bloom, as they say, and infuse. And the saffron solution, you use it for your chicken marinade, for your Persian rice. A lot of Persian cooking involves this beautiful saffron solution right here. So we're gonna cut up the chicken. Um, there are several ways to cut the chicken to make the juje kebab. We put them on skewers and put on hot fire. But here I'm gonna show you two different kinds. One is the rectangular shapes um, that we put on skewer as you see there. So you cut them into pieces about the size of a matchbox, traditional matchbox, or about a half that size. This one's a little tricky. We make it in spiral shape. A lot of Persian Iranian restaurants make juje kebab in that shape, as you see in the graphic. And they use uh, chicken tenders. And we can use a breast and cut pieces in shape of a chicken tender and then we'll show you how to skewer them later. The first thing you do, this is a very important tip, restaurants in Iran do this. Before you put chicken together with all the rest of the marinade, let it marinate with just the saffron for about an hour and then we'll add the rest of the marinade. So pre-marinate the chicken with saffron. The next tip is to not shred the onions. Slice them as you see here. Shredded onions will burn and will, they, they will make you think your chicken is ready before it's ready. So don't use shredded onions, use sliced onions. Always use fresh lime for the lime juice. See that little trick there? Make sure you get the most amount of juice out of your limes. Fresh squeezed lime to be added to your marinade. This is the next tip. Always get the pulps out. So strain them. The pulps do the same thing shredded onions do. They burn on the fire and that's not good. Yogurt, vegetable oil, fresh squeezed lime juice, and your sliced onions. So mix them all well. And we're gonna put that together with your chicken that's already marinating in saffron. Plenty of salt and pepper. You will see the recipe in the comments, wherever you're watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, I will post the recipe. So make sure the salt and pepper is there. Uh, now we put the onion yogurt mix together with the pre-marinated chicken with the saffron 
and mix it all well. And this is going to go in the fridge for at least four hours. Now we're going to put them on the skewer. Here's the spiral chicken on the skewer that I was talking about. Pay attention here. That's what we're going for. We're going to uh, twist the little uh, chicken uh, tender piece and put it on the skewer. It will be beautiful once it comes off the fire. You're going for that fancy looking spiral grilled chicken juja kebab. There you go. Now the, uh, the next kind we're going to do here today is the rectangular shaped traditional juja kebab on the skewer as you see there. There's no rhyme or reason to this. It can be any size. As long as it's big enough to go on that skewer, you're good guys. Just uh, put it on and then uh, yeah, why don't you do some spiral kind and some of the rectangular size ones and see how it turns out. You'll find your favorite kind. There it is. Uh, I prefer charcoal fire, but you can use gas grill. Whatever you use, make sure you have the hottest possible temperature. As you saw, I use a fan to make sure the coals are red and hot. Just spread them to have a consistent layer. And as soon as all the charcoals are hot, we put the chicken on. Adjust the position of your chicken and tomato skewers to make sure they're sitting on the top of the hottest part of your grill. They need to be right on the top of the hot coals as you see i'm adjusting here the position of tomatoes on that skewer to make sure that they're right on top of hot red coal i closed the lid made sure they're cooked on one side for three to four minutes look at that then you turn it and then you close the lid again and give it another three or four minutes so three three to four minutes on one side three to four minutes on the other now you've kind of sealed the, the meat on both sides. After this point, you start basting with your mixture of butter, lime juice, and saffron solution. And keep turning it uh, once every minute and basting for another four or five minutes. Now right there you see the same way you cook the sides of your steak, you're going to cook the sides of your chicken skewer. This is the last tip you see, it's a restaurant tip from Iran. Use some shears to cut off the burnt little tips on your chicken. It makes for better presentation. Now you're not going to have a lot of flare-ups because chicken doesn't have much fat. When you're basting with butter, you may get some flare-ups, but you're going to have to manage that. Hey guys! So here's our delicious, simple to make Persian juje kebab, the grilled chicken. Beautiful, isn't it? You're going to love this. As you can see, I paired it with my Persian saffron rice, the grilled tomatoes are here, and some house salad. You can do any starch you like in your favorite salad, and it goes well for lunch and dinner. I would love to see your pictures when you make this, and also stay safe and healthy with your families during this quarantine time. Hope this will be over very soon, and I hope to see you soon here for another episode at Cafe with Gary. Please hit the subscribe and bell buttons, and we'll see you soon.